Welcome back guys to a special edition of There You Have It. This is the 1,000 subscriber special. Um, we just want to say thanks and we appreciate you guys watching our videos and uh, we'll keep them coming. Today we have the special release CAO Vision. This one was uh, $25 a stick and we usually average right around $10 a stick. So. Um, it's the most expensive cigar I smoked. We're kind of excited to see what it tastes like, see the difference. Jeff, you want to give him a close-up? Yeah. Got to get a close-up of this beast. This is a Churchill. It's 7 by 50. Look at that wrapper, that gorgeous wrapper. We're going to hit you with the dry drag and uh, take it from there. Not a ton of flavor. Nah. I'm it's very smooth. Yeah. Super Pretty smooth. Airy. Yeah. Very easy to draw through. I really, I guess you're picking up the, the mild hay. The yeah. Yeah, a little very mild. Earthy. A little earthiness. Yeah. Let's toast these things. Let's go right down the line. It immediately comes with some flavor once you light yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And like where a lot of these other uh, like earthy flavored cigars all taste kind of similar. This one's pretty unique. What is it? I can't place it. But it fills like your whole mouth with it. It's like, a, yeah. It's very deep. I don't know. Like a little bit of spice kind of gets you like a tingle throughout I the whole mouth. I taste the spice. Yeah. So initial opinion on the CAO Vision is, it's definitely unique. Um, it's not like a lot of the other cigars that you've smoked with the earthiness and the pepper. It's got a little bit of both. Um, Jake, what'd you say about the pepper? So with the spice on this one, you kind of get, whereas a lot of the other ones, you'll hear us often say, you know, you're getting some spice on the back of the tongue. This one, the flavor fills your entire mouth. You kind of get like a tingle almost across your whole mouth. Yeah, it kind of creeps in. Yeah. Very I'm nice. liking it so far. Me too. Yeah, I mean, it's and a, with the, the length on this, despite the length on this one, you're getting a lot of good airflow, easy, easy to hit. I mean, real good so far. Mm -hmm. It doesn't leave uh, any aftertaste or poor taste in your mouth. Once you yeah. get, once you get the flavor, it, it, leave, it dissipates your mouth pretty quickly. Oh, that's wild. You know, some of the cigars leave like a lingering aftertaste and, you know, we talked about the ashtray. Not with this one. This, this is really good. We're gonna enjoy this cigar. Um, I guess we'll, we'll give it to you in four segments just because it's, it's a little bit bigger than we're used to and it's a, it's a special edition cigar. So we'll hit you after about a quarter of the cigar is gone and we'll let you know if there's any changes. Stay tuned. So it's different. It's we like it. Yeah. Do we like it better than, say, the uh, Alec Baldwin? <laughs> what was it called? <laughs> <laughs> the Alec Bradley. This is my favorite so of, far. Of all time? Mm -hmm. Easily. I think it's mine too. Easily. It's a good thing it's limited release and we'll never have it again. Basically, I was trying to mimic Jeff's at this point, you know, the one yeah. that works. It's only a triple torch, though. I don't know if you caught. Yeah, that but change. did you hear? <laughs> did you hear the roar of this train compared to his, though? Dude, that sounds like a jet engine. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, bring it out. Let's break it out into the mics. No, because mine like, probably isn't gonna look. <laughs> Crack Laser Junior. <laughs> you ready? I don't. I don't really hear anything. Don't burn the mic. You ready for, I didn't. I burned my chin. You ready for this one? Yeah, I mean. Powerhouse. <laughs> 15 bucks. My mic picked that up. <laughs> so we're about a quarter of the way through um, the cigar and it's it's really it's living up to its its name, its limited release. It's really good. Jeff, what do you think? 
yeah it, th this one's really really good it's burning great uh, the flavors have mellowed slightly but just the combination of flavors works so well together that it just it's a beautiful tasting cigar Jake well said Jeff I mean as you said it mellowed a little bit you're not really getting that tingle anymore but the flavors are I mean, knocking it out of the park with this cigar. I'm not yeah. getting really any of the tingle. Yeah. And right. honestly, the flavor, do I feel like there's a little bit of leather? Sure. Do I feel like it's a little nutty? Yes. Do I feel like there's a little bit of the earthy in the hay? Yes. But it's a like tiny, the f is this? I mean, Jesus. <laughs> it's like a micro burst of each yeah. flavor. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's such a clean tasting cigar. I'm, I don't even know how to describe it. I don't even I never thought I would describe a cigar as clean tasting. This one, this one has it. So we're gonna smoke it down to halfway and then uh, we'll let you know what we think there. So stay tuned. Are your lips really chapped? Mm, they look it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lick them. You can't see it with the uh, mustache anyway, but <laughs> <laughs> Want <me> to lick <laughs> We're halfway through the CAO vision, and honestly, I don't have a whole lot of changes to report. Still a delicious cigar. Fellas? I agree. The, uh, the cow vision? Cow. Guy Fieri. Flavor Town. Yeah. This thing is <laughs> full of flavor. It's like a uh, medium to full body, but at the, at the same time, it's so smooth. I think someone who's you know a little bit newer to cigars could really enjoy this. You know, if your if your palate's not really used to the heavy flavors, it's it's just so smooth, so flavorful. I think anyone could could love this cigar. I'm going. This one's unbelievable, man. This this is great great description there. Nice work. Uh, that being said, we're going to get you down to the wrapper, and uh, again, we'll let you know if there's any changes. Stay tuned. So we are down to the label, um, which super crisp, clean label, man. These these um, CAO visions, I, I don't have enough good to say about them. There isn't a ton of change down to the label. Um, also, if you get a chance, check out the box that these come in. Um, it's it's awesome. It's a humidor. Um, it's got lights, and you know, it's kind of like pillowy on the inside. It's it's something to see. Um, they're limited. They're hard to get. So check it out. It's a pretty cool box slash humidor. Other than that, I think we're gonna smoke these down to the final third, and. Uh, you know what we do there. We'll give you the rankings and final thoughts. Stay tuned. Burr. So we are down to the final third of the CAO Vision 1000 subscriber special. Again, just want to say thanks, guys. We appreciate you. Jake, what do you got? This thing is my number one currently. It's the best cigar that I've had. Gonna rate it accordingly, 9.5 for the CAO Vision. Nice. Jeff? This is an unbelievable cigar. Definitely worth every penny. If you can get your hands on one of these, I, I would highly recommend it. Uh, with that being said, this is my favorite cigar. I'd give it a 10, but there's more out there, so uh, I'm gonna go with a 9.9 .9 on this one. 9.9, yes, what, what a good cigar. Man, I love it. You gotta try and get your hands on one. Um, it's gonna be tough, it's a limited release. I think there was only 2,500 um, boxes released in the US, so it's gonna be tough. If you can, get your hands on one. That being said, I, I'm in agreement. Um, I'm gonna give it a 9.8, uh, just because there's more cigars out there. This is my top cigar. It's all of our top cigars. Yep. You gotta try and get your hands on one. And there you have it, 1,000 subscribers. Thanks to all you guys, uh, we appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna be notified for future videos, Jake, 
Got to ring that bell. Peace. Down in the comments below, let us know if you think I could jump a gate. <laughs> <laughs> if you want my vote, it's no. <laughs>